Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Naris and today we are going to create this. So without wasting time, let's get started. All right, so here I am in my After Effects and let's start by creating new composition. 9020 by 1080 and 10 seconds would be more than you. Let's call it master click ok let's create another composition let's call it photo and this will have a width around 900 or so and you can increase the height click ok let us add our first photo here you can increase the size you can set its position appropriately Add a new solid, white solid, click OK and put it be below this image file. Select your rectangle tool and draw this kind of frame around this photo. So this is the frame. Alright, now let's add this on as the turbulent displacement effect. Change the amount to 30 and size to 2 so you will see that there is this uh, kind of set of edges around this image alright so we have created this first photo now let us duplicate it by using command or control plus D three more times so total we have four photos so now open this photo to select this file and by keep holding the alt key or replace this image so you can press M and you can delete this mask and then adjust this photo appropriately this enter and again select this rectangle tool and create this another mask so that we have this the image similarly open photo 3 and replace this other image so we have created total four photos now let's add them here now let's convert them to 3d add a new camera add new null object convert to 3d and parent our camera with the null object change to two view select all these photos and move them somewhere around around here also and move our camera to somewhere around all right now let us change the position of this so it will be around somewhere around here and this photo position around here so this is so set their position appropriately let's move over it here and we can change the position all right also uh, adjust some to little bit uh, this this one here some, some are forward and some are little forward and some are back little backward so there light will not interact alright so we can scale it down little bit if you want scale it down this one also so they go same size ok so this is our final position so let us move to somewhere around 5 seconds or so 5 seconds and let's add a keyframe to position also add select null and press P on the keyboard, press shift and press R for the orientation and rotation, add initial keyframe here, then move back to a initial keyframe, but before that let's add another solid, black solid, let's rename it as grid, recompose it, convert it to 3D, Add grid effect. 
chain to ten height slider you move it to behind your thumb around here and scale it in this to 40 this also to 40 and change this opacity to around 30 30 or 20 20 will change the border to around 2 and increase this to around 25 all right now change back to one view and let's change the orientation at this initial position so let us change this orientation this value all right and then we have to change this position y position so that it appear in the center increase the zoom increase the zoom change the y position like this increase the zoom change the y position so i think this is good all right now let us uh, move this images here this first image will have position here start from here then this this image will start select the position let us add this position we forget to add this photo we come here and change this position to Right, in this photo, this. Now let's play. So this is how they are appearing. Select all the keyframe. Press F9. All right, now we can add this glow effect. So this is our photo two. Let's add the glow effect. composite original to on top change this value on top then increase the radius this is how it will appear copy this effect and paste to it to other photos as well this intensity this Is the intensity if it is not good then all right now for these uh, colors in this first it is black and white and then have the different color so for that i will add new adjustment layer and let's add geometry color the color and we will we will so we will also animate this temperature here we will increase it at this same increase the temperature Keep this saturation and so this is how it will appear black and white as we have removed decrease the saturation to zero it will appear like black and white and then it will appear like the other all right let us remove this color all right let us add new adjustment layer let us rename it as gaussian and add gaussian blur effect place the blur amount okay, then select this layer select this ellipse tool and double click over it then invert it Go to mask and increase the feather amount. Increase the feather and increase the blur if possible. 
All right, then let us add a new adjustment layer. Rename it as Vignette. The add Vignette effect. And increase the amount. Let's so set this here. Also, it will start somewhere around here and set here. All right, now you, if you want to add some particles and all those things, you can add it. Otherwise, this is good and our animation is over. If you want to watch the complete editing breakdown of the Suckle and Crunch first video, you can watch one of my this video. So that's all guys. See you in the next one. Till then, keep practicing. And bye bye.